In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make an experience that uses cars um, using the Lyra framework. And we're going to use a chaos vehicle from Epic's Launcher Starter Project. So you'll have all the functionality that it comes with. We are actually going to download a car. So go ahead and open up your Epic Games Launcher and then navigate to the library tab and then launch the uh, latest or the version of Unreal that you are using for your uh, Lyra based project. All right, once that's open, just click on the games button and then we're going to start a project from the vehicle starter project. So I'm going to call mine uh, just vehicle and then go ahead and click create. When you press play, you'll be possessing a sports car and it's pretty cool. It's got brakes, but the car I actually want for this tutorial is the off-road car because you will actually be able to see the player inside the car. So go ahead and navigate to your vehicles folder and then off-road car. And then the one we want is this car. Uh, so let's just see where it's used. So Alt Shift R is for the reference viewer. And then let's zoom in with the scroll mouse wheel. And then, so it's used in the game mode. Uh, so if you right click, recenter the graph, you'll see the references the game mode has. Uh, so yeah, it has the vehicle off-road example map. So let's go ahead and open that up. So Control E. Okay, it doesn't look like much because it's using the world partition. So you can pretty much load it all just to see. Or you can just play and it'll load it. Um, so yeah, let's just play this one and see if that's the vehicle we want. So yeah, that's that's perfect. So far what I've seen is that it does replicate pretty well. So I'm just going to stop this and we're going to migrate this vehicle over. So I'm just gonna... Oh, there's the pawn. So I will we'll browse to the asset. And so it's under all content vehicle template, blueprint, off-road car. And then to migrate to our project, we are just going to right click and then asset actions, migrate. And so it's gonna take all these input actions um, and all the car parts, which is great in the textures. Uh, so that looks good. Uh, the other thing we want is the input mapping context, uh, but we'll first start with this. So just press okay, and then navigate to your project. Uh, so in my case, it's the Lyra possess car, and then select your content folder. So select folder, all right, and it will look like it delete them, but it didn't. Um, it's, I wonder if it's a visual bug or something. Um, yeah, but let's just see where the input mapping context is. So the default data. Uh, so yeah, so we want to have uh, in our own project, we want this input mapping context to activate whenever we possess the car. So we can essentially use all the same logic that this project has. So I'm going to just right click, asset actions, migrate, and it'll migrate the same ones that we saw earlier, uh, but that's okay. And we can just hit re replace. Um, so it, it remembers the last project that I migrated it to, which is nice. And then select folder. And then I'll just say yes to all. Go ahead and close this project. And then open up your Lyra based project. So mine is just called Lyra Possess Car. Um, yeah, and you will notice that in your content browser, uh, there's going to be the car, uh, the vehicles and vehicle template. Oh, it even took the sports car. Maybe 
Okay, just its material, so maybe the off-road car uses a bit of the sports car's materials. Um, yeah, so the pawn car off-road. Okay, so the off-road pawn. So you'll notice that you can't open them. So you still see the thumbnails and everything. But it shows as though it's an invalid class. That's because we haven't enabled the Chaos Vehicle plugin yet. So I will just press on No, and then navigate to your Edit uh, menu, and then Plugins, and then let's search for Chaos Vehicle. Vehicle. All right, so this plugin has all the classes that we need. So I'm just going to say yes to this prompt. So yeah, since this plugin is experimental, Epic doesn't recommend shipping projects with it, uh, but it's good for learning exercise and a tutorial and just starting to, or having access to a car uh, that's free and works nicely. So, okay, uh, after you enable the plugin, you'll just have to make sure to restart your Unreal Editor for it to take effect. So press on the restart now. Okay, so now we're back in our project. Um, and since all the maps are pretty much made for uh, just like just mannequins and people running around, uh, we are actually going to create a new map just for our cars. So yeah, go ahead and navigate to all. And the way Lara is set up, they mostly have their, their maps under the shooter maps content. So click on that and then under maps. We're going to create a new map right here. Uh, so uh, you could create a new level this way, uh, but then it would be empty and you wouldn't have all the nice, nice things to have that come with just creating it from here. So file, new level, and then let's choose open world because as a car, you can go very far. So let's just click on create. And then the only downside to creating this way is you have to choose where to save it. So uh, let's navigate to all plugins, shooter maps content, and then maps. And then I'll call this one L uh, car map or race car map or ah, L car map is good. And then let's save. All right, so we have our map. Okay, so now we want to actually spawn our cars inside this map. So uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that there's some uh, Lyra player starts. So navigate to the uh, that button. I'm not sure if it has a name. Quickly add to the project. Um, yeah, and then uh, let's go to the place actors panel and then search for Lyra uh, player start and let's just drag that in so this is where our characters will spawn uh, more like our this is where our cars will spawn and okay let's drag another one okay so this is where our cars will uh, spawn uh, but we still don't have an experience defined for it so go to your world setting tab and then so if you scroll down under the game mode tab, there's the default gameplay experience. Uh, so we're actually going to go ahead and create our own. Um, but for now, let's just select the Lyra default experience just so we have something to, to uh, start from. And then click this to browse to the asset. And let's go ahead and duplicate this. And I will call this one uh, Lyra car experience. Okay. Okay, and this basically adds the default HUD layout, uh, which gives us the nice uh, like escape. Uh, if you if you press escape, there's a nice pause menu. Um, but what we want to change is we want to set up our pawn data. So again, let's navigate to the simple pawn data, and then let's duplicate this one. Uh, this one I'll call the car. 
upon data. Okay. And so this one uses the simple hero pawn, which is just this thing. Uh, so we are actually going to just use our off-road car. Okay. And we're not going to use input da uh, data. Uh, we're, we're going to use just the way it's set up uh, since it, it handles the input inside the blueprint. Okay. So our experience will spawn this car. Uh, we don't have the inputs bound yet, uh, but let's go ahead and select our car experience. And if we play, so I have the uh, number of players, two players, and playing as a listen server, just so I can always uh, test with multiplayer. So if I play... Oh, <laughs> it still loads the old one. Uh, I think I just forgot to... Yes, that's what I did. Okay, so in your experience definition, uh, you just got to make sure to use your newly created car upon data. Okay, so now when we play, just spawn cars. Sweet. So we have cars. There's no input. So there's not much of a game when there's no inputs. So let's go ahead and fix that up. Um, so in your car upon data, Navigate to the off-road car pawn, and then let's duplicate, uh, double click it. And so we're going to pretty much uh, override or listen to when the car gets possessed. So you can click in the my blueprint section under functions. Uh, let's override the possessed. So on possess, we are going to uh, first cast to player controller and then we're going to get the enhanced input local player subsystem and then we're going to add the uh, add mapping so add mapping context so that's the one we brought over from the other project uh, so it's just called input mapping context default and actually, let's go ahead and rename that so it's a bit more clear what this input mapping context is. Um, so let's just call this one default car. Or I guess we could just call it input mapping context car. Okay, and then let's save that. Um, yeah. And so when we play, we should have our con uh, our input should work, um, and you'll notice that it only works on the server because the client doesn't actually receive or uh, yeah the client doesn't receive the unpossessed call. It only happens on the server, so we have to make sure that we have a um, a client RPC. So how we create that, basically go to your off-road car pawn. So let's create a custom event. And this one, just uh, client uh, add input mapping context. Okay. And then this event, it will run on the owning client. So the client that is locally possessing this pawn. So here we can check if the pawn is locally controlled. Okay. So when your event is possessed, if you're locally controlled, so if you're on the server, then go ahead and uh, add this mapping context. If not, uh, then let's go ahead and call client add input mapping context. Okay, so this will be the client calling this and this will run on the client. Uh, so pretty much player two. Um, so this one, the way we can get the controller is you can get player controller. Uh, I think it's the, you could get the player controller from object or you can just 
get the local viewing player controller. So I think this one. So at this point, you are possessed. Um, yeah, so. So yeah, let's just call this one. And then this one, enhance uh, input local player subsystem and add mapping context. Oh, I'll just copy this. Okay, and let's see if this works. Okay, so your client. Yeah, so now you can move on the client also. And you can hit the server. Now, one last step we need to do uh, to make this experience and map accessible from the package game is we need to create a data asset. Okay, so navigate to your systems folder and then in your playlists, um, we have a an example plant playlist here. Uh, so this one uses the default experience and some icon, uh, but it's not sh shown in front end and it's not the default experience. Uh, so we're going to just duplicate that and then let's call this one uh, car map very descriptive <laughs> uh yeah and then this one will use the car experience and the map the car map and then let's just call this one let's race uh so this is just a showcase or sandbox for chaos vehicles and let's just keep everything else as what it is. So the default loading screen, it will, yes, we want it to show in the front end. Uh, and a way to test what it would look like is you can navigate to your default editor overview. And then you can select the viewport. I'm just going to change it to one person. Select viewport. Okay, so they're not exactly in order. So sometimes, ah, there it is. So default map, let's race. Yeah, so you have your experience. So let's stop this. And um, sweet. So uh, we'll call this one a uh, race track. Okay, and let's actually also preview if it if it's actually in the front end. So navigate to your Lara front end and let's play. Okay. I will mute my menu. Okay, so let's click on play Lara and then start a game. And so there you go. It shows up on the racetrack and this is what uh, you'll see in a package game. So if we click that, here we are.